This lesson deals with the Holy Bible, which I have in my hand. The Bible is the basics for our Christianity. Uh, it's our rule book, just like in baseball, uh, you have a, a rule book to go by, what a home run is, you got to touch all the bases. Well, the same thing in the Bible. The Bible gives us instructions. In fact, it gives us basic instructions before leaving earth. It tells us how to live on this earth and have a good life, and yet someday we will go to heaven if we follow what the Bible tells us, and there's a lot that the Bible tells us. Now, first of all, uh, the Bible is holy, H-O-L-Y, holy, and holy means pure, clean in God's sight. In fact, the word holy in the Bible is mentioned uh, all close to 1,000 times. And there's a lot in the Old Testament and a lot in the New Testament. Now, the Old Testament was before Christ came and was born on this earth. God sent Jesus as a baby. He was man and God. But in the Old Testament now, uh, there are books in the Bible that tells about the coming of Jesus, for instance, in the book of Isaiah. In fact, uh, let me read a verse in Isaiah. The grass withereth, the flowers fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Now the grass, you know, in the winter time, it stops growing and, and it withers away. The same thing with flowers, they don't last forever. But the word of our God, that's God talking to us through his word, shall stand forever and ever. Now the Bible is broken up into two uh, books or two testaments. We have the Old Testament, uh, and in that Old Testament there are 39 uh, books. And uh, the way you can remember that the Old Testament has 39 books is old is, has, is three. You have O-L-D, that's three. And Testament is T-E-S-T-A-M-E-N-T, -E -E that's nine. And if you put those two numbers together, three and nine is equal to what? 39. So three, I shouldn't say uh, you don't add them up together, you just put them together. So three and nine is 39. Now in the New Testament, there are 27 books, and how you remember that is new, N-E-W, is three. Testament, T-E-S-T-A-M-E-N-T, -E -E is nine. Now this time, you multiply those two numbers, three times nine is equal to 27. So there's 27 books in the New Testament. A total amount of books then in the Bible, which includes the Old Testament and New Testament, is 39 plus 27 is equal to 66 books. Uh, that aside, let me just show you a little trick. You're waiting for a little trick. And the Bible has a lot of things to teach us. And uh, the Bible is pleasant to listen to and to read. Uh, by the way, uh, how does God talk to us? God talks to us through the Holy Bible. And how do we talk to God? We talk to God when we pray. That's a little insight there. But you still want to see this trick, don't you? The Holy Bible. Uh, uh, a lot of people don't read the Bible because they feel it's a waste of time. So they, may, they might watch the television a lot or the boob tube. And uh, they feel, oh, there's nothing there to end for, for me to have. Uh, I don't get anything out of it. It's too difficult to read. Uh, but that's not true. The Bible teaches us uh, the basic instructions before leaving earth. It teaches us how to get to heaven. You ever see the baseball players when they hit a home run? When you go to heaven, you hit a home run. They always put... They point up towards God, towards heaven. Anyway, you still want to see this magic? Okay. Uh, now, the Bible tells us that God created the world. Remember in Genesis 1.1, uh, the Bible tells us that the waters were made, the sky is blue. What other colors can you think of that are blue? 
And then not only that, God created the grass. Remember we were talking about the grass withereth away and it, it, it dies over time. And then um, we have uh, that some bad things that the Bible talks about. It talks about sin. It tells us to avoid sin. And that will, some, that will lead us to hell. Uh, so the Bible talks about the wages of sin is death, but the gift of life. What is the gift of life? Is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Now Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, and he keeps us from sin. And he will keep us pure, clean. Remember that word holy? That God will, will make us holy in his sight. Clean, pure, remember? Uh, the word holy is mentioned about a thousand times in the Bible, a little bit under a thousand actually. Uh, but that's the major emphasis that God wants us. Why? Because He created us. God created us and He, that's, he knows which is the best way for our life to be, is to follow Him. He gives us these basic instructions. And also it tells, the Bible tells us we will go to heaven someday. The Bible talks about the streets of gold in heaven and so heaven is a wonderful place to be and that's our reward for following God and God uh, wants us to get to heaven and that's why he has given us the Holy Bible so just remember this little trick about the Holy Bible that God has all these good things in the Bible for us to read the only thing is we have to read it What have we learned? 1. There are 39 books in the Old Testament. The number 3 placed next to number 9 is 39 books. 2. There are 27 books in the New Testament. The number 3 times number 9 equals 27 books. 3. God speaks to us through His teachings and the Holy Bible. 4. We talk to God by praying. Five, the word holy is mentioned in the Bible nearly 1,000 times.